Apocalypse Gaming. So whilst that section's drying, I've taken my eight arrow slits and again put mask and tape around my objects. Just push them all down and what just to make it easier so I can sand them all at the same time. And just I'm looking to take a millimeter only off of these because they need to be the same height as that. And they were just slightly taller. So now we're there. That is literally all it needs to be taken off, so if we can see even the sanding on that, there wasn't much plaster had to come off, but it was just to get everything the same level. And that's all just to do with my scrapes when I was casting this stuff. Just so that these are level as well. I'll be sanding a bit off of that, a bit off of this. Just keep everything as level as possible. And again, invert this. level and smooth on there now. These will be used on there along with these. So now that that sanding's done we'll be adding our arrow slits and adding our corner points as we go round. The front here we leave open for the, the way the design is so that will be there and we'll work round leaving that front section open. So. That's what's up next. So purely just to get an idea of where the build's going, I've sat this section on top, but I need to again do the usual step away and let it dry. Because those here, I've got the glue on them. So walk away time, I'll come back in an hour or so. So update time, so we have the Close to top section of the tower, looks like all one piece, but that lifts off, giving us access to here, then due to the shape of that, it fits back in place. And that would be the, that'd be the front. I've got myself confused. There we go. That would be us back in place. Oh, Brooklyn, why am I knocking in? Oh no, oh no! Follow the Hutchman Trail! Follow the Hutchman Trail! There we go. Sorted. We also have these two not glued together, but that's now ready to be used. This section, we can now continue with some building on that. So we need two skulls and two of these for the first layer. Skulls 
flat bank here. Because that's just a couple of bricks, I'm feeling confident enough to put the next layer on, which is the angled one inch blocks and the angled half inch blocks. And then I'll need to walk away and just let the glue set on that again as well a bit. where we need it to be and then we walk away again and we'll let it all dry. Time of night, I'll probably just let this bit dry overnight now. So that's that all in position. Walk away! So now we're looking to take this piece and add it to the outer crenellation which is marginally broader than the piece we've got so it's just going to be attack a glue right round that edge and then this put in place as centred as I can best make it and then again left to dry so it's coming along that's just some of the bits dry fitted it's going to get taller still but I just thought I'd dry fit and show you so that's the Top, which is about to get more stuff added. That one I think is complete. This needs more work and that one I believe is complete. So we're pushing along and we're getting there. So next up going to work on this. So on this section as we see it'll be teeth all the way around so it'll be the big long tooth. One of them one of them and one of them is what we'll be getting glued all the way around again you don't need to watch me glue some stuff in place so I'll glue it all in place and we'll take it forward for there so all the teeth are in place it'll look like so when it's the other way up but just now walk away let it dry follow the rule don't get too impatient walk away let it dry Hey, just came across. That would look cool. Hmm. May need to consider building something like that. Because that looks cool. Accidental, but looks cool. Again, just start my dry fit just to see how it looks. It's just these three pieces. Go straight in. And because it is just three pieces and there's going to be a lock, I'm going to build the other layer directly on top as well and not wait for the drying because that's simple enough to deal with. So let's do this one first, then we'll look at the pieces we need next. So, next layer starts with one of them shape, followed by a one inch block, and then the rest of the way the round half inch block then the rest of the way around the one inch block with the angle cut one side one, one side the other so like this all the way around simples so once again we're at the walk away stage don't go touching the top layer just let all the glue sell so that's exactly what I'm about to do so going off plan here, I've decided I want another floor and that one. So I'm going to just quickly make up a floor and insert it. I'm going to, have to probably do everything wet to make sure it fits in there. 
um, and a little bit of jiggly pokery and squeezing about. So got that floor in there a lot easier than anticipated so I've obviously built quite accurately to plan so put all the pieces together um, and then basically slid the outer shell over the floor and um, took a little bit of force but minute and um, so it's a good tight fit and then I need to let that glue in place into the bottom of that. So now it's time to continue with the crenellations and it will be an angled piece followed by teeth followed by small tooth back again to these type of teeth then angled piece so that's how we'll start working through the crenellations. Again, I'll just do it off camera for simplicity, but you've got the idea. Put my hand behind just so you can see how that's looking. So, really are getting very close to being done now. That's the crenellations almost there. There's eight more pieces to go on top of the crenellations, and then that's the top half complete and the tower most of the way there small amounts left to be done so again walk away let it dry let's not ruin all our hard work now so next up for the top of the crenellation is these so these are simple enough and that's long enough to glue so I'll just glue them in place As this one's quick, I think it's safe enough to stay on. And if I can get to it without bashing off the camera. How's everybody else's builds doing? To be honest, I've just still not got enough time on the day to sit down and watch anybody else's YouTube vids. Too many other things happening for me to make that time. So, what's everyone else been up to? Go on, keep me informed, tell me what's going down. them in place and now we just need to clean up the little bits of glue that are in the way and then walk away and let the crenellations dry and that lifts off there as we've saw already floor on this one I don't know if it will be drying yet I need to get some card in place. Yeah. It's dry enough for me to get some card just to strengthen the bottom of that, so that's what I'm just about to do now. 